Hey, it's Carrie Flatley here for this week's Friday Fire at Remax Real Estate, Lethbridge and Carrie Flatley and Associates. So, manners, manners, manners. I hope we were all taught good manners by our parents when we were growing up. I'm Gen X, you know, so it was always please and thank you. And you look people in the eye and you shake their hand and you shine your shoes when you apply for a job, right? It's all about first impressions. And the same thing applies when you're making an offer on a property. It particularly applies in a hot market or on a property that you know is going to go hot or be competitive. And that's where a good realtor can help you out. So in other videos, we can talk about how to write a competitive offer, make sure that your offer stands out from all the rest. But there's one thing I don't hear a lot of talk about when it comes to competitive offers, or if you just wanna get a fair deal when you buy a house, and that is, mind your manners in the offer and negotiation process and your realtor better help you do that because i'm telling you bad manners in that offer and negotiation can blow it and a seller has every right to turn down your offer based on whatever they want so i'm going to give you some examples of things that i have seen recently where buyers have lost out on a great property that my client was selling because they insulted the homeowner and the homeowner moved on, declined the offer and went on to sell their property to a more gracious buyer successfully. The first one, low deposits. What a terrible, terrible first impression. A thousand dollar deposit on a $350,000 house. For example, I'm not saying they're all like that. But in Lathbridge, there is this real bad habit of low deposits. If you go two hours up the highway to Calgary, you would get laughed out of the city for even a $2,500 deposit. It's too low. If you are serious, if you are pre-approved, if you have cash in the bank for your down payment, which the bank is going to ask for, then you have cash for a deposit to be held in trust and show that you're serious on that home. So think about the size of the deposit in relation to the price of the home and how competitive that property could be. There could be other buyers at the table. Maybe they're making cash offers, no conditions. You need to show your ability to purchase the home. Low deposits are kind of insulting. Speaking of money, when I receive an offer and I've harped on this over and over again, on past Friday Fire episodes, I will call your realtor, buyer's realtor, and I'm going to ask them to tell me the story about your financing. And if I get a vague answer about financing, that will make me and my client think twice about how to treat your offer and negotiate with you. Vague answer on financing, small deposit, shorter leash in the negotiation. Okay, so just saying, oh, well, I know they've been at their bank for lots of years and I think they're good to go and they have lots of money. That's a red flag. That means your realtor doesn't know what you're doing with your mortgage financing. Deals are still collapsing left, right and center out in the marketplace because buyers are getting ahead of their skis and not getting their financing lined up and ready to go. And the last one, I saved the best for last. Don't ask for professional cleaning and carpet cleaning in the terms of the offer. Whether the house is eat off the floor clean or a little bit grimy, if you ask for that in the offer, you are very likely going to insult the homeowner. And again, it's just not gonna go well in the offer negotiation. I had two different offers that my sellers outright rejected inside of a week and a half on two different properties simply because there were requests made in the offer for cleaning of a property that was so clean you really could eat your fried eggs off the floor and be perfectly safe doing so. Don't do it. It insults the homeowner and they're not going to want to work with you. And if they have to work with you because they really need to sell their house or it's been sitting for a while, you've now insulted them 
and it doesn't grease the wheels going forward. So those are some things you can do to make sure that you show respect for the homeowner and you get the best terms and conditions possible when you're looking for your dream home. If you have any other questions about minding your manners in an offer negotiation or anything at all to do with being strategic in this super crazy market in Lethbridge, you can call or text me anytime at 382-7335 or look us up at carryflatlow.com. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.